Okay, by now you've probably heard about the corpse flower that bloomed yesterday at Tucson's Botanical Garden. Supposedly, it smells really bad. Team 12's Brandon Hamilton is verifying the truth behind the smell. A Morphophallus titanum, which actually translates to giant misshapen, well, let's just say a certain part of male anatomy. That's the official name of the corpse flower, and it's clear why. It's sticky. It's like an old sponge. Kind of like garbage. In 1889, the first captive bloom was cultivated in England's Royal Botanical Garden near London, and a bloom is extremely rare. A little more than 100 blooms in cultivation ever in history. All eyes are on Tucson's Botanical Garden right now as their very own is blooming. This is the first bloom in cultivation in the state of Arizona. Thousands have come out to get a glimpse. I think it's really cool. The flower is really, 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 really pretty. It's it's pretty impressive how, how large it is and how beautiful it is. Known for its smell, there have been some great descriptions. Rotting fish, rotting meat, organic potting soil. To me, it smelled like really bad body odor. Scientists have analyzed the scent and identified compounds, including isovaleric acid, which resembles cheese and sweat, dimethyl disulfide, which resembles garlic, and dimethyl trisulfide, which smells like decomposing meat, along with indole, which smells like feces, and trimethylamine, which smells like rotting fish. You can verify that the plant does indeed smell, and the purpose of the smell is to extract the pollinators to the plants, such as beetles, butterflies, and flies. The internal color of the bloom resembles raw meat, and the spear-like structure heats up to roughly the same temperature of the human body, all to intensify the smell. Rosie is already starting to close. It could be five to 20 more years before Rosie blooms again. Brandon Hamilton, 12 News. Feces. <laughs> oh, well hurry or maybe not to see it before it collapses you can also watch the live feed at tucsonbotanical.org i'd rather watch it than smell it joe it, it, admire it from a distance right <laughs>